Welcome to this vlog, you guys. I am in the best mood today. We are having a great day, and I hope you're having a great day too. And if you're not, hopefully this vlog can bring you some, I was gonna say holiday cheer. <laughs> can make you a little cheerful. <laughs> Christian, it's not the holidays anymore. Wait, I literally was just like, what is on my roof? <laughs> I thought it was like a leaf or bird poop or something, and it's the light pole. Can I not? Okay, anyway, I'm having such a good day. I'm so happy right now and just like amped up. I feel like jittery, like I just had a coffee because I just left a workout, but I didn't even have a coffee. And I was about to go get a coffee, but maybe I shouldn't because then I'm really gonna be like, exploding you know with energy <laughs> but i think i am so happy because i just left orange theory and i was gonna explain to you guys before but i'll just tell you now because i didn't start vlogging before that nothing brings me more joy it makes me more excited than bringing someone new to a workout class like this is so specific but I, I don't know why like maybe that's telling me i should be like a fitness instructor or something because something about like if i love a certain workout type of workout, workout class, whatever it is. And I can tell one of my friends like, wait, you haven't tried Orange Day before? Wait, you haven't tried Soul Cycle? You haven't tried this bar class that I love? Like, oh my gosh, you need to come. You're doing it with me. It's gonna be so fun. And yeah, I brought my new friend and she said she did Orange Theory once like six years ago and she went like once and didn't even remember, you know? So I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so fun. We're gonna go. And she's like, I don't know. Is it gonna kill me? I'm like, you're gonna do great. It's gonna be amazing. And it was so fun. And I don't know. I don't know why that just makes me so happy. Like introducing people to, into things I like. I think it's even like that with like food or something. I'm like, you haven't tried this? I want you to try it. I'm gonna make it for you. Like I want people to share the joys of things that I like with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, so I think that's why I'm really happy. Sorry, I'm talking like a mile a minute. I don't know why I'm feeling like so much energy right now. Probably just like endorphins from a workout, but I'm gonna stop being annoying because I feel like I'm being annoying. I'm gonna shut up and <laughs> <laughs> go drive and use some earrings. We're gonna run earrings together. It's gonna be so fun. I think we're gonna get a coffee. Even though I might explode. Maybe I'll just like walk Brody or like run around with him to get some of my energy out. Even though I already walked him, but yeah, clearly I have like extra energy today. So we're gonna go get a coffee. We're gonna go to Whole Foods, maybe Target, maybe Nordstrom. We're gonna do like all the things right now. It's gonna be so fun. It's probably like shower first, but I'm already out and about and it's like on my way. So we're just gonna do that. Is that okay? Is that okay with you guys? Yeah. That's a plan. Okay, JK, I'm switching up the order on you guys because I have a return to make and I'm gonna see if I need anything else in here. I always love looking at the shoes. Like, these are cute. I usually find some good ones in here. I was looking, oh, these are really cute. Okay, the ones that I were like, do I need these? Like, those are really fun, right? Okay, I feel like I have so many little like heeled sandals, like the style, but they're the ones I always wear in the summer. Like just neutral, simple, go with everything. Oh, I definitely don't need you, but you're so cute. Okay, now we're talking. These are so fuzzy, I love. I was gonna go look at PJs, but I need to stop because I really don't need anything else. I don't have room <laughs> in my closet for anything else in here. Oh my gosh, I can't resist. You guys, someone needs to yank me out of this store right now. You know, you know, these are my most favorite blankets of all time, but I literally have like mm, potentially eight of them. <laughs> I literally have so many. Oh, they're just so good. I have this color, but I don't have the one with the stripe. Like you are so cute and comfy. The light pink, I have the gray, I have the white, I have the cream, I have like this beige one. I got so many, they're so good. I wanna just roll around in the stack of bare retreats. <laughs> Now Whole Foods is its next door. Then Starbucks, finally. Hey, this is what we got going on so far. Produce section, eggs, avocados, bananas, romaine, some more sweet oranges, raspberries, just vegetables, you know, and I'm so excited right now. The other day at Target, I tried to get this protein oat milk. I thought I was gonna have to go to get it. I didn't know they had it here. This is my favorite one. Vanilla Felicia Farms protein oat milk. So good, you guys. This is how I make my favorite shaken espresso at home. And I've been not okay without it with almond milk. It's just not the same. Just wait for this haul, you guys. There's <laughs> so much going on. Wait until you guys see my haul. I cannot be left alone in Whole Foods. I can't be allowed to go there because I just wander all the aisles. I have so much fun. I'm like looking around, I'm like, woo. <laughs> also though, my post-workout energy has dissipated and now I'm feeling tired, so perfect timing that I'm going to get a coffee right now. Oh, also shout out, my brain is like all over the place. Can it like calm for a second? Shout out to Lainey. I met the sweetest worker in there and she said that she's watched my videos for so long. We were talking about like, 
stuff in high school and how she used to watch me, watch me back then. So that was really sweet. But yeah, I literally could wander in there forever. Like, it's just like my happy place. It's so fun in there. And I'm spending way too much money on stuff that I like wasn't planning on getting, but I can give you guys like a little haul when I get home. And yeah, I don't know why I thought I had to go to Target too. I thought there were like certain things that they wouldn't have at Whole Foods that I want to get at Target. Then they had like my favorite oat milk and other stuff like that. So I really don't need to go to Target. Also, I absolutely do not want to go to Target because yesterday and today, <laughs> TMI, long story short, I really don't get my period all that much anymore on the birth control that I'm on. Lolo, if you guys know, <laughs> I'll just be real. I'm on Lolo and I think it's very typical that you don't bleed at all on Lolo or just like a tiny bit. And like I've not bled in months and I woke up yesterday. My cramps were so bad it like woke me up in the morning. I'm like, oh my God, this is so bad. And I'm like, what the heck? I normally don't get cramps unless I'm gonna bleed. I'm like, guess I'm about to bleed. What the heck? I haven't missed a pill. Like why am I bleeding? But yeah, so I have like the most horrible cramps yesterday and today, but it kind of like comes in waves and I think I could kind of feel it during my workout, but the working out was like distracting me and I'm like, Gretchen, this is like good for you yesterday I, like dragged myself to yoga because i'm like this is going to feel good to move like your body will feel better but it just kind of comes in waves and where it is i was leaving whole foods i'm like oh my god it just feels like my stomach is on fire pretty much and feels like knives and like someone's like pulling at my lower center. i don't even know it just feels like burning is mostly how i can describe it and it's so specific i was telling max i'm like i just know when it's like cramps versus anything else because it's just such a different type of pain i don't know if any of you like feel how i feel anyway i barely ever get that but it's kind of killing me right now and so i'm gonna grab my coffee i just mobile and i'm gonna drive over and hopefully it <laughs> cheers me up my mood is like this i started the vlog i was like Whoa! and now i'm like ow my cramps but like being in pain like i literally just need to like shower and lay down you know yeah, this is cheering me up already this is my favorite starbucks location here just look at the outside it's so pretty the employees are so friendly and i just love this one let's hope that my coffee is really good today <laughs> Okay, I don't know what's going on today, but I feel like, oh, wait, I'm dumb. <laughs> That's literally the car that I was about to tell you guys about. Why are they going so slow? <laughs> Like, are they about to get out and talk to me again? <laughs> okay, I don't know what's going on is what I'm trying to say because I feel like I rarely talk to strangers in public about my social media or like YouTube channel unless they ask, which now this is making sense to me actually both times why it was brought up. I mean, the camera is kind of like a dead giveaway like in Whole Foods when I was checking out, he was like, oh, are you a photographer? Like he must have saw me put my camera in my bag. I don't know. And I was like, oh no. And he was like, what do you do? And I was like, social media. I'm telling him all about it. And I got so many things. So he's like, oh, what? Like what platform? Like how many followers you have? That's what people always ask and I'm like, honestly, I don't know like I'd have to go check But I can give you like a ballpark and I'm like, yeah, I've done YouTube over 10 years like podcast Instagram TikTok blah, blah, blah. And they have like always so many follow-up questions and now this is making sense to me But it's just like a funny coincidence because like that was like whatever it doesn't faze me But I'm like, that's so funny that I get asked about it like twice in a row because I was walking into Starbucks And I was filming talking to you guys. So those two guys in that blue big truck must have seen me like talking to myself and holding up the camera and I was walking out and the guy just rolls down his window and was like hey hey do you do YouTube and I'm like uh-huh and he's like what's your name on YouTube and I'm like Gretchen he's like what's your last name I'm like what is going on he's like okay thanks we're gonna look up your channel I'm like okay go. I mean I think it's like 95% female but go right ahead that's just funny to me. Anyway, okay, Starbucks. I was like, hopefully it's good today. And you know what, I think it is, but maybe I think just this order isn't the order for me. But <laughs> what I will say is that I have so many different Starbucks orders. Okay, be concise, Gretchen. I love the white chocolate mocha. Shout out Rachel Otterneath. You guys are my friend Rachel. She got me onto the white mocha. So good. But it's always like so sweet to me. And I started off with like, three pumps and two pumps and one pump and even like one pump in a cold brew sometimes seems like a lot like literally the last time I got a cold brew with one pump I was like oh my god this tastes like melted ice cream so it's so sweet so then I saw if you guys know acquired style on Instagram TikTok Bridget love her and I'm gonna try Bridget's order and the other day I actually did but I feel like it was made weird and literally I couldn't taste the espresso at all maybe they just did like one shot instead of like the three that a grande comes with it basically just tasted like plain oat milk so I was like okay I need to try this again and so she gets uh, shaken espresso, which I never thought to do the white chocolate mocha in a shaken espresso because I always love getting the brown sugar shaken espresso. But I'm like, maybe the white mocha would be good in there because it's probably a little bit stronger, like coffee tasting because it's espresso than like just cold brew. So <laughs> I was like, maybe this will be good. So it's three shots of espresso in a grande with oat milk and one pump of white mocha. That's this is her order and cinnamon powder. And I'm like, oh my god, that's gonna be so good. I'm gonna love that. And what I have to say is, my review is. It's good. Now I feel like I don't even taste the white mocha because it's like so espresso-y, um, but it's definitely good. 
I don't, maybe they forgot to do the cinnamon powder in here or it just like dissolved. Oh, maybe that's it at the bottom. I feel like maybe I'll add more cinnamon at home and it will be better. I wish I could add like a tiny bit more white mocha. I feel like whenever I get white mocha, I'm like, whoa, it's way too sweet or I don't taste it. Like I need to find the right in between. I need to be like one and a half pumps. But sometimes one is too much. I don't know. But like it's definitely good and like oat milky. I'm such an oat milk girl. Like I always love oat milk more than almond milk. Here, if you want to see, because I feel like me chatting forever was not helping. That's like how I ordered it. And then Max gets, I got him a coffee case. You're wondering, this is his pregame order, just his everyday order. Sometimes he's fun. He'll add like a pump or two of like caramel or brown sugar or vanilla. But he always just gets venti cold brew, splash on almond milk. That's it. Let's try it. Ooh, that is good. I need to just keep it simple, right? And have like a simple everyday order. And I'm always trying different like powders and swirls and shaken espresso or cold brew or latte or, you know, but it's fun like mixing it up. Anyway, errands are complete. I guess I'll give you like a little haul when I get home. And now I want to drink more Max's coffee. <laughs> It was good. No, I can't. He literally is an away game today. He's probably like, where are you? Can you come home and bring me my coffee? I need to leave. So <laughs> yeah, gonna drive home. I'll give you guys a little haul when I get back. Okay, now I'm honestly kind of wishing I just got a brown sugar shake and espresso. But sometimes that's too sweet for me too. I don't know. Is anyone else in like a constant battle of like, what is my favorite Starbucks order right now? I guess my favorites are always like a vanilla cream cold brew. I need to stick with that. Like a light sweet cream vanilla, sweet cream cold brew, a dirty chai, shake an espresso maybe I could do like less brown sugar sweetness I don't know but yeah I'm always like trying to try new things and then I wish I just got like one of my favorites Okay, our water heater is getting fixed and it's really loud and the workers have been in here so sorry I couldn't really give you a haul. This is your overview. I'm sure you guys could see by all the things I was showing you. This I've never tried before. I thought it looked good. Hi! Okay, sorry that noise is probably so annoying so I'll cut this off. I thought that looked good. Honey, or some peanut butter. Yeah. Yum. I don't think I even showed you that. Right. Yeah. Like this is all gonna be so good. I'm so excited to try this flavor because you guys know I love poppy. I've never tried the dog pop one. afternoon now I don't even know you guys saw started off the day with a little soul cycle class that nearly killed me because I haven't been at my at home bike in so long so it's kind of like taking it easy but it was definitely fun to be back I love doing a soul class you guys know so that was so good and I just showered and now we're doing something so fun trying on a bunch of new clothes together I got a bunch of clothes in from Urban Outfitters so I'm gonna have all the pieces I'm trying on to show you guys link down below in the description so you can twin with me first up we've got this white dress I honestly feel like the most reoccurring item in my closet would probably be like a frilly girly white dress they're just so me most of my wardrobe is white like white tops white sweaters white dresses stuff like that I just feel like I don't know it's so me and just happy and I think this is the cutest dress ever you guys need it if you were wondering I wear a size medium and Look at how dang cute it is. All the little details, like ties in the back, the little sleeves. It's just so me. It's so cute, right? Like I wanna go on a date in it. <laughs> and you guys know me. When I like something, 
I need it in more than one color. So I also got it in pink. I'm just obsessed with this style. It's so neat and cute. It's like lacy, girly, like I said. Has the buttons right here. These dresses just scream like summertime to me. Also like vacation, they'd be good for. But this summer, I'll probably be on Cape Cod, maybe buying a house, like I mentioned. So these will just be like, so perfect. So cute, right? Do they have pockets? <gasps> Tell me they have pockets. No. <gasps> I didn't even know. Oh my gosh, okay. These dresses just got even better. What the heck, they have pockets? Dresses with pockets, if you know, you know, they're the best. So cute, the length is good, especially since I'm 5'9", I always pray about that. And they're literally perfection. Also, I was gonna show you guys my new clothes, like I literally just opened the box in the mirror right here. And then I realized I need to keep showing you like this because the lighting is so much better, but yeah. Okay, clearly I could talk about these dresses all day long, moving on. Okay, we're being adventurous, you guys. I'm trying to be trendy because these pants are a little bit low-waisted. Are we all scared of the low-waisted trend coming back? I feel like so many girls are like, no, I'm so afraid. But yeah, I feel like the lighting is kind of washing it out, but I'm sure you can tell. They're just a little bit lower. I like these because they're not like too low. They're kind of like, like a mid-low, but I just really like the style of them. Obviously like chocolatey brown, the cargo, they're really comfy. Bring out my brown eyes. <laughs> and I love this shirt with, this is just like really basic. Why is the lighting so bright? Hang on, oh boy. Hopefully that wasn't way too bright this whole time. But I was saying, white little basic shirt, so soft and stretchy that like, you know, really soft material. It's kind of like a ribbed situation. Such a good basic, affordable, really recommend. This white little crop top goes with everything. Okay, this I think is turning out to be low waisted on me, but I don't think it's supposed to. I think it's a little big. Maybe I could exchange <laughs> for a smaller one because I think this is supposed to be up here. I was actually so excited for this though because I feel like I've seen pictures of girls styling like long skirts. You could do like a sweater, boots, sneakers. And I thought it was like so fun and different for me. I guess I could wear this low, but like the low waist trend is still like so crazy and new to me. But kind of fun, right? I really like color of this skirt, like all the little details and everything. It still has that like cargo, kind of like washed out look. So that's this. Do we like it like low, everybody? Or do we think I can try to exchange for like a smaller one that could sit like a little bit higher up? Okay, then these are the most out of my comfort zone, I would say, just because the detailing, like they're like black kind of cargo pants, low, but they have all these like silver details. Like the low waist is so crazy to me. These also are a little big, maybe I should exchange for a smaller size, but I feel like then they kind of have like the oversized look, but I feel like if they were a little tighter on the waist then they would like stay up a little bit more, you know? So yeah, that's just not me for like ordering the wrong sizes, but like honestly fun though and cute. I feel like honestly with low waist stuff, it's still so new to me and I feel like naked with my whole stomach out. So maybe I would just wear like a bodysuit or like a longer top with it, you know? Okay, then we got this corset style little black top. I know it's teeny. You could definitely even wear it like under things as like a bralette, but hear me out. This is the year of me branching out with my clothing. I just grabbed this like plain black blazer I had. Oh wait, these pants even look like I can tighten them on the side so then they could stay up a little more. I thought of this with like heels or even like sneakers, you could dress it down. Like a fun pair of like funky black pants, blazer, corset underneath. Isn't this kind of fun? Yeah, like I like this. Some booties or like heels, kind of a vibe. Like I always feel the most me and all black and the most like confident. So I'm loving this together. Okay, last but not least, this is so cute, you guys. And I'm pleasantly surprised trying it on because when I just held up the pants to Max, we were like, mm, they look like they fit an infant. Like these pants in this top too, it's such a stretchy, like sweater kind of material. So they look really small when you're holding them up, but then they stretch just how they're supposed to. This I actually got in a small on the top and the bottom. So I was like, oh boy, that's like not gonna work. Cause normally, I don't know. If any of you were late being like really in between sizes, like I feel like I could go either way between a small and a medium. A lot of times the small feels too tight, the medium can feel a little roomy. But like in those dresses, I'd rather have the length than it be loose. So normally I just gravitate towards the medium. But then in something like this, a small is perfect cause it's supposed to be like tight fitting. And yeah, I just love the little leg blue color. I love how comfy it is. It's like a comfy, cute lounge set situation. We could totally dress this up too with like heels or sneakers, like wear it out, throw a jacket over top, like a fuzzy jacket or something. And I love how the pants, I don't know if you can see all the way back here, they have like this like rouging detail. And I feel like the top kind of mirrors that, like the sleeves are really long, so they kind of like rouge at the bottom. But yeah, I think this is so cute. This little like lounge set. 
I'm gonna be at like a ski mountain in this, but then not ski because I'm scared to <laughs> tear my ACL again. <laughs> but like, this is so cute. We love. Okay, I'm gonna have all these pieces. I just showed you guys a link down below in the description so that you can tip with me. Wait, last thing about Urban Outfitters package that I forgot to show you guys. Look at these. <laughs> I just thought they were so fun for like concert music festival, right? They're kind of like rainbow. I don't know, I thought they were cool. Wait, I meant to tell you guys just now before I was showing you the clothes when I was saying how I did my soul class this morning and I thought maybe you would notice something about the garage, what you missed the rest of yesterday was Max and I went ham in the garage. It's been needing to happen. We finally had the motivation to do it, so we did it. By the way, our hot water heater got fixed. Okay, ready? Look at this. Maybe this is like not much here. Let's see if we can turn the light. Oh yeah, okay. Maybe this like isn't that good by your standards. But for us, oh my gosh, I cannot even tell you how many like garbage bags we filled up in here, which is so crazy. Cause I still feel like there's a lot of stuff. Most important thing, obviously, <laughs> in here is our custom Brody cornhole boards that Max got me for Christmas. But yeah, I guess you saw like this when I was on my bike and like I know this still looks full but we cleared out so much and I honestly can't even tell you like how dirty and gross it was in here so just being able to like clean everything out yeah I mean it still looks kind of like I don't know but it's a garage and it's not like sealed or finished you know some extra coats back there yada yada like roller blades like pickleball stuff snow tubes Brody's crates all his little one when he was a little baby puppy just stuff like that but I'm feeling so much better golf clubs hockey sticks an extra rug if you guys remember that whole fiasco and people were like you should just put it in your garage so we did and it's nice having it in here for your bare toes <laughs> we just drove to the park the park. What are we at the park? <laughs> hmm. He knows it. Yeah, we just drove to the park. There was some miscommunication on the way here. Because Max drove right by Starbucks and I was like, what are you doing? Because we always go Starbucks on the way home from the park. Because if we get a Starbucks before, then we have to carry it outside and it's cold. Yeah. Or you leave it in the car and then it's just sitting in the car. I know. I feel this like we, we always bring it home. used you. to leave it sitting in the car during the walk, but yeah, this makes more sense to get on the way home. But I was like, oh, excited. That's okay. It's like 20, 30 minutes away from being consumed by me. So Less I'll live. This is gonna be a quick loop. I was always like, we're gonna be so quick, but you're the one with the slow pace. Well, not today. I'm gonna kick it into gear. <laughs> That's our like number one difference is our speed of walking. Yeah, you walk like a, girl on a mission. Yeah. I'm like, I got places to be. I like speed walk. <laughs> I just walk at a normal pace. No, you go at a leisurely stroll. Well, that's what we're doing. We're in the park. <laughs> Yeah, today I was like, we need to go have a Starbucks park date because it's so nice. Now, I feel like it's been so rainy and crummy and like cloudy. And this morning when I walked Brody, it was like so sunny out. I'm like, we got to go like to the park later. I know, right? now it's cloudy, but mm -hmm. it ha it's but the sun's going to come out. It yeah, it's been so nice today, but it's still cold. Like, it's deceiving. When you're not in the wind, the sun makes it feel warm, but then when it's windy, like on our walk, mm. pretty windy. So we're kind of like bundled, but. Yeah. Shall we? So that, did you show them your snack that you brought? Are you saving it for later? <laughs> oh, it's nice and sunny again. Woohoo, Tinko. Funny. Also, guys, I would never normally bring my camera when we're walking out the park, but I got a concerning dance <laughs> from one of you. But yeah, this girl was like, oh, I know that park you go to. There's been like lots of break-ins in the cars. So I brought my camera because I'm kind of scared now. <laughs> Brody, tell them what you did. He has dirt above his eyeball. Also, look at those pods. Well, he got up so you can't even see. But <laughs> I literally was like, Brody, come quick, quick, quick. And he jumped right in the mud puddle. I was trying to have him avoid. Why did you get so dirty? I don't even know if you could see, but his paws are so muddy. Why don't you go in the grass and try and dry off? Oh, okay, here, now you can see the eye. Here are the paws. Oh, look at that. Oh my heaven. Our apartment had a hose. <laughs> dirty dog, dirty dog, dirty, dirty dog. Dirty dog. Look at his white spot. Look at his black spot you now. Can see it so well. His black mud bunny. Yeah, of his spot. eye. <laughs> what a fail, guys. I was just like, I swear I heard my hydrofoss like, fall on the ground, but it's under this person's car right here. <laughs> this has never happened. This is an issue. It's like dead center. 
<laughs> and their car is like low to the ground. I was like, I swear I heard it fall. Where'd it go? <laughs> we look like we're like breaking their car. I'm so afraid. Woo! Success! I keep talking about car break-ins. I was scared I was gonna manifest that for you, and I'm happy that we didn't do that. Are you cleaning up your food? Finally. Oh, bye. What I've been waiting for this whole time. I also said this is our first time in all of dating that we got the same order. Like we never get the same order ever, but Max puppy mine, didn't you? Keep running into issues today. The Hydro Flask, then my coffee. I felt like a Karen, but actually it was better because you asked and you're like really friendly and always. See, you could have done that. I know, but I didn't want to, I didn't, I don't know, I didn't. I was too scared. Just don't come off like a kid. But you have such a way of coming off so sweet, but you always get like what you want. You're always like, hey man, mind throwing in a couple extra of this or a little more of that? And they're like, oh sure, whatever buddy. Why don't you just do that? And like, no, I would, I would be like, hey, could you just add some more cold brew to the top? But I just feel weird out. Hey, Slappy Joe, why don't you throw in a little <laughs> more cold brew for your old lady over here, eh hey, boy? <laughs> Are you okay? The, Is that how you would have said it? the first <laughs> sip of coffee heads off. Oh, you're so funny. You know what I've noticed? Is I got a sloppy bottle. job? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, these straws now are very fragile. They are. I just squeezed it barely and it <laughs> put a stitch down the seam the length of the Nile River. <laughs> are you talking about? Like it broke. Yeah, put a seam down the old stretch of my dude. What? Are you okay? Anyway, all I'm trying, we're like slap happy. I'm trying to say that I got my vanilla super cream, <laughs> vanilla sweet cream cold brew. <laughs> vanilla sweet cream cold brew. Light sweet cream is my go-to order that's like perfect. However, today it was not light sweet cream. It was like extra sweet cream and I'm like, I literally can't drink it, it's too sweet. Like I don't know what to do. And I was like, just chug a bunch off the top quick and ask him to like throw some extra cold brew in there to make it more coffee -y. and I was too scared but then he asked and he, and he was like yeah, yeah sure no problem but yeah this is my favorite order probably of all time the light sweet cream but then I feel like it's up to their discretion how much light is so it could be like nothing it could well, be I still too much it, it has a thing I think it says quarter, quarter of an inch yeah but this one tasted like even sweeter than like a normal anyway it's really good he added a little bit more cold brew and it's Perfect now, it's dinner time. Look at how good our little salmon rice bowls turned out. I love doing the roasted seaweed wasabi little, I guess snacks, is what the seaweed snacks, just like pieces of seaweed, I think dried seaweed, roasted. The wasabi flavor just gives a little kick and it's so yummy. And if you haven't tried this before, we do salmon in the air fryer, you could cook it anyway, you could cook it in the pan, you could cook it in the oven, and you're gonna like mash it all up with rice. And then we do soy sauce, like, I guess you could say spicy mayo. We just do like mayo and sriracha all over top. Avocado. Mm. And it's literally the best thing ever. As you can tell by Max's reaction. Actually going to end off the vlog here because I feel like it's getting pretty long. I feel like I've had a bad sense of telling how long my vlogs are, but I feel like I filmed a bunch yesterday and today already. I don't know. Maybe that's in my head. <laughs> Sorry if this is shorter. I guess we'll see. Love you guys. Thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.